I got to watch Scotty Scheffler hit at the Travelers Tournament in Connecticut and uh, realized what's the secret to his consistency. It's very clear. I'm going to even show you some videos of him swinging. You'll get it. But uh, it's one thing that he does that nobody's talking about. They're talking about his legs and his this and that. No, he does one thing that keeps those wedges so tight to the pin and those drives right down the middle of the fairway. And I'll tell you what it is when we come back. Okay, take a look at this video of Scotty addressing the ball. He stands up very tall, stands very close to the ball, like I always say. And then he takes it outside the line. He's not even open that much for a cut shot, but that's what he does. He takes it outside the line. But look, look where his club is going. Right now, he's pointed right at the ball halfway back. And he just continues on that line all the way to the top of his swing. Then when he starts to move back down, look, his club is right on right on plane. He never takes his club off plane. And that's very important. That's why he's so consistent. He's not making any extra moves. Some people started off plane, then right before they hit impact, they put it back on plane. And that's good if you can do that. But it leads to inconsistency sometimes. Where well, Scotty doesn't even have to worry about that extra move. And neither should you. So today, I'm going to show you how to get your swing on plane from the get-go and keep it there. It's not that difficult. He's very tall, takes it to the outside, but look, right about here, he's on plane and he keeps it there, keeps it there, keeps it there, until he starts down, keeps it on plane, comes right in, till impact. So it's, right? So what do you do? Well, you take your wedge, you address the ball, you take away, however you take it away, right? You might take it away like this, or if you want a little close, you take it like this, but then all of a sudden you get it on plane. Once you get it on plane, keep it there. I don't care how far you go back. Keep it on plane, just like that. Keep it on plane. You won't have to worry. See, See that T? Pointed. I take it back like this, and I'm on plane, and I stay there. Then I'm right going right, right down on plane through impact, and the ball goes straight as an arrow. So you don't want to stand too far away from the ball. You just get that club on plane. Keep it plane. Keep it on plane. Right there. Keep it there. Don't drop it here. Don't go up here. Just like that. Keep it on plane. Now I know I have a short swing doesn't matter whether you're here or you're up here. Just keep it on plane.
And every club is the same. You got your wedge, take away, on plane, keep it there, on plane. Now, if you're a player that takes it back, this off plane, then puts it on plane, and you hit it well, God bless. Don't change a thing. If it, ain't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But even with your driver, on plane, keep it on plane. Once the club is on plane, it just has the ability to just whip through the impact zone. Whip through. No extra moves on plane. So think about that. If you have any questions, whoop, if you have any questions, go to Scotty's video and watch him and see how he keeps that club on plane. And that is the secret of his consistency. He's worked hard on it, and it's flawless. That's what blew me away, even though he's taking it to the outside first. So he's taking it out and then gets on plane. Keeps going. And last but not least, let's not forget our chip shots. I'm playing, and I'm playing. I hope this helps. I'm sure it will. Just put a little time and hit a bucket of balls. Find where your swing plane is and keep it there all through the swing if you can. And I'm sure your shots will go straighter. And when you're out there and you hit a shot, they'll all say, Mr. Boring is up. Because it's right down the middle of the fairway. Till next time. Hit them well. <laughs>